Hey, what's up, Emperors? For fuck's sake, what now? What? Oh my god, yes, just use cellular data, you sl- Anyway. Hey, Emperors, what's up? Welcome to my channel. So today, I'm going to tell you a lovely tale of me being absolutely stupid. <laughs> so, to set the scene, I'm in college. It's 2015. I'm depressed out of my mind. I mean, who was who wasn't in 2015? Like who who wasn't? Okay, my roommate at the time, he was an accountant. Um and it was very cool. Like great person to live with uh, at that point. It was yeah, he was just really cool. So one day he gets a random Facebook invite for a party in a town that's mm, about like an hour away and it is really weird. We don't know him. He's not one of his clients. We just got invites to this party. So we're like, uh, yeah, let's go. So they say it's a private event and we'll have to RSVP and we'll have to give our name when we get there to the door. So we immediately start scheming because we all feel bad about going. So the moment we get these invites, we start having a debate about going and you know, if it would be cool to go to this person's party that we don't know, and uh, we start reading over the invitations, find out it's a birthday party for his younger brother, and we were all very conflicted still, because we, you know, we're juniors in college, we don't want to go to a high school kid's birthday party, but there was something fabulous at the end of the invitation. It said, and performing live, Cobra Starship. So if you don't remember Cobra Starship, or you're a Gen Z and I'm actually secretly really old. They were this really cool like music group, like band I guess. They were just, they were everywhere in like 2011. We're like, okay, we're in, let's go, let's do this. So we decide that we're going to have to give fake names since we have to give our name once we get to the door. So my roommate Peter starts going by Troy and I go by Paul Parker. My other roommate, she decides that she is going to go by Ophelia Parker and we're going to pretend to be brother and sister. And my best friend Jan says that she's going to be Roxy. We make these fake backstories, um, we <laughs> really got into detail. Uh, Ophelia and I were uh, brother and sister and we were from Stafford up in Northern Virginia and you know, we had like a middle-class family, our father was a government contractor, our mother was a stay-at-home school teacher. We were really committed to these roles, um, you know, so we wouldn't get caught. Whew. Yeah. Yeah, the day comes. It's two months later. The day has arrived. We are ready to go. So we pile into my shitty car and we just start heading an hour up the road to this party. So on the way up, we're like, well, guys, it is a birthday party, so we definitely should get a card for for this guy, who we still don't know the name of. We don't know the name of this person at that, you know, it's their birthday. So we just, we stop at Cracker Barrel and get a uh, a religious themed birthday card. So we start driving and I'm still looking at my GPS and we're going out into the woods. We're out of town. We're about a mile into the countryside. I mean, like, the banjos are intensified. It tells me to turn down this dirt road and I do. And I'm like, okay, all right, well, guess we're about to die. Which my depressed ass was very excited for. We get down this dirt road and there's a warehouse. I'm like, okay, that. That's weird. Then I notice there are two armed guards near the, the warehouse, and I'm like, oh great. Oh boy. So they start approaching the car, and I slow down because I'm in a two-wheel drive car, and I, I can't turn around because it's been raining, and there's mud, and it's just, it, I would get stuck, and you don't want to see a fat man stuck in mud. You just don't want to see that. So yeah, they start getting close to us, and they ask if we're invited to Adam's party, and we're like, who the fuck is Adam? But me, being the very, very non-anxious human I am, decide that, in fact, we were invited to Adam's party. So I say, yes, and they're like, wait, what, what was your name on the reservation? 
So I say Paul Parker. And these are my three guests. And they're like, okay, all right, well, yeah, just go ahead and park on over there. Park in this little gravel parking lot. And we notice there are a couple other groups of people there. Everybody's younger than us. They're, you know, we're all just freshly 20, 21, and they're like 17, 18. A limo pulls up, a white limo. Me and my friends all stare at each other. We're like, okay, all right, this is gonna be, yeah. So we get in the limo, um, and the four of us are squished together because we're like either A, we're going to a really cool party, or B, we're going to a dungeon. I was pretty convinced we were going to a dungeon, but again, wanted to die, so. We start going up the dirt road and it's further and further into the woods, so we're in here for about like 15 minutes, nervously kind of talking to ourselves, you know, each other back and forth, and a, a young couple that was in the car, they started talking to us about knowing Adam and how we knew him, and I should have been a lawyer, honestly. The way I can lie to people, oh. I started telling you about how Adam and I went to high school together and had the same English teacher and we really bonded in 10th grade English class with Miss Johnson, RIP. So yeah, we get to the party, suddenly we're emerging out of the woods. This limo pulls up to this very nice McMansion and we get out of the car and there's an event tent, the house is real big and real ugly and then there's another tent off to the side because it was the middle of april so it was cold it was rainy it just was it was gross outside so we head over to the food tent because uh you know we decide that we are going to chow the fuck down so we're walking around again noticing everyone who is younger in the party is, is high school age and we started feeling a little awkward because, like, we're we're old. We're old for that crowd, but it's okay. It's okay. We get to see Cobra Starship, so it's fine, right? Wrong. We just kind of keep to ourselves and like mingle as needed to keep up appearances. Me and Ophelia talk about our parents and Nova and just being really, really boring. So finally, the band starts playing, and. It's Cobra Starship. They are coming out, like, swinging. They're coming out swinging out of the gate. It is, like, I was transported back to 2011. I was screaming at my mom to get out of my room, and that is not a phase. We're dancing, we're partying, we're having a great time. And, you know, it starts raining, starts getting a little colder, and they say that they're going to take a break. We just were like, all right, time to go back to the tent for more food. We get back to the tent, and I noticed some middle-aged women there. Um, we didn't have a word for this back in those desolate times, but they would be called Karens now. So these Karens start talking to us because they don't recognize us, and I don't recognize them either. So I start talking about me and Adam having 10th grade English together and how we really bonded during those months. And they just keep talking to us about Adam and his family and the family dynamics and how their father wasn't around anymore. I'm not sure if they met like passed away or if he walked out or w anyway. You know, we, we get going and um, I see another group of older women. I'm kind of waiting to leave the tent because I'm not, I'm still frozen because it's been raining and it's like 40 degrees. So I'm, I'm cold. So uh, this other Karen starts talking to me and I have forgotten everything that the other Karens told me, so I just decided to go, oh, it's so nice of Adam's father to be throwing this for him. This woman, you would have thought I... So there I was. Barbecue sauce on my titties. Being assaulted by the Karens who went. Adam's father isn't in the picture. His brother did this for him. So I said, oh, that's right. I'm so sorry. You know, it's, it's just that his brother's so much like a father to him. 
let me tell you, when I get to hell, this is that that's gonna be in there. I know that that I just know for a fact that's gonna be in there. So we just kept going, kept going, you know, having a great time, listening to Cobra Starship, eating lots of food, and we're thinking, all right, well, where is Adam? We haven't met Adam. So it gets to the end of the night. Cobra Starship is doing their biggest, most popular song, which I'll have that linked in the description below, so you can relive this magical moment with me. So they bring Adam out on stage, and would you know it? I don't know him. I've never been to school with this kid. You know, they, they're doing their thing, we're dancing, he's dancing, he's singing some of the lines, we're singing some of the lines, and so he, get, he gets off the stage after the song's over, and the four of us kind of surrounded him the moment he got off stage. Because all of us were anxious messes <laughs> about doing, about crashing this kid's party. So we give him his, his card, his birthday card. And it's soaking wet, like, the, the envelope is just completely ruined. So it's signed from Paul and Ophelia Parker, Roxy, and Troy. And then ran, flagged down the limousine because they had revolving limousines. Like, this, this kid was rich got back to the car, we're all four, cold, soaking wet, laughing, I think, harder than I've ever laughed. To this day, he, like, we don't know who he is, he doesn't know who we were, and honestly, like, Adam, if you're watching this, please don't sue us. <laughs> But thank you for an amazing time. We loved it. We love to see it. And yeah, if you're ever throwing another party, like, hit me up. Let's go. And we finally, we managed to get back to the car and start our drive back to school. And <laughs> to this day, we will still hashtag Instagram, uh, Facebook, YouTube, anything. We will still use the hashtag who the fuck is Adam. So if you have any stories like this, please put them in the comments with the hashtag who the fuck is Adam. So if you do use the hashtag who the fuck is Adam in the comments, I'll make sure to read them out in a future video. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you really enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know by leaving a like, subscribing, getting the notifications turned on, or follow me on Instagram or TikTok. I'm under the same name. Love you. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my very first YouTube video. If you liked it, let me know in the comments, give a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned for more. Bye. Just make fucking excuse me! Are they going down the street? I think so. No, we're deleting her. She's irrelevant.